Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone, welcome to my studio, Diane here. Hope everybody's well. Um, today we're going to do some super quick little cards and these are going to be based on an idea which um, was uh, provided to me and I've asked her permission and she's okay with that by um, Carolyn, I think, um, Carolyn Dalton, I think that's how you pronounce, pronounce her name, is that right, Carolyn? Um, she sent me some lovely little gifts and they came with these two little cards, which I think are absolutely lovely. And uh, I asked her if it'd be okay to show people how to do something like that. So I'm going to do my version, which um, is going to be a little bit, a little bit different, but uh, pretty much the same. So I'm just going to put those to one side. And um, I, I think I'd make a lovely little card just pop in with a gift like Carolyn did. So I've got a piece of um, paper here. This is watercolour paper um, of an anonymous type. You know how sometimes um, you might find a piece of paper somewhere in your paper drawer and you haven't got the faintest idea what it is because it's become separated from its parents and um, has no known name. So anyway, this is a piece of that. And I'm just looking for my bone folder, which like so many of the things I possess is always disappearing. So instead of that, I'm just going to use my thumb to push that down like that. And then I find my um, paper knife, my envelope opener, and I'm just gonna do that. And that gives us a nice raw edge, nice deckled edge there, so we can then fold this in half to make a card. I'm going to find that bone. There it is. There we are. So if you want to, you can um, use a ruler and score here before you fold, but I don't think we need to really do that for something as ordinary as this. So what I normally do is fold it like that, press it with the bone folder, and then turn it the other way around so you get a nicer edge. It's better edge than the one where you folded it, see? So that makes that, makes that the outside of the card. And uh, obviously if you have the, the, they won't all be deckled edges, but okay, so that's okay. And then the other things that you're going to need, as well as a bone folder and an envelope opener, is a large round brush, like this one. This is a draw well brush from Japan. Um, any round brush would do, that's a size 14 and um, quite a big one my biggest i think that is you could use any brush though really it doesn't matter because all you're going to do is use it to spatter with and i've got a pigment liner a 0.5 millimeter pigment liner there from Stepper. so okay this is a super quick um, exercise and super relaxing and easy to do First thing you have to do is just simply think of what shape vase you want. And um, the one I did first is a kind of um, nice, um, tall kind of oval shape. And I'm doing it deliberately wonky because all the best things in life are wonky, as I'm sure you will agree. So then we've got it standing on a table and we just do some squiggly lines like that. And then um, we're going to put just, we're going to draw in very randomly some stems like that. And then we'll put some circles using my uh, pen very, very freely and loosely I'm trying not to make them too even and a few dots and a few more lines and that's that. So absolutely, completely and utterly rough. Then I'm going to take my brush 
And here I've got my selection of basic paints. And um, for this one, all I did was I picked up some cobalt blue. This is cobalt blue here, quite nice and light. Um, I think this probably works best if um, it's not too uh, concentrated. And then just drip it by tapping onto your flowers, where the flowers are, like that, until you've got what you think is probably enough. And then what I did, bearing in mind this is, you know, not something I've done much of before, then I just washed out my brush a bit and then just put a little bit of blue in there for the water. Just kind of random and we let that sort of settle. Don't like that bit there. There we go, let that settle. And then the other colour that I used was quinacridone gold and the exact same thing. Plenty of water and a few spatters like that. And on Carolyn's ones, she um, used a lot more spatter and I think that looks also really cool, but I don't think you don't, you don't have to have as much as that. And being as I'm a bit of a lazy bones, um, I didn't do that. And then I got my toothbrush and I just did quite a bit of light spatter in blue. Then we did the table and you could say uh, that could be brown. Um, if you can find any, it'd be useful. I've got my Viviva colours here. Let's see what we've got here, autumn leaf. That sounds a bit brownish. Oh no, not really. have to add something to that to make that. Mm, golly. What colour shall we make that then? Uh, what's this? Earth brown. Nope, don't like that. Tree bark. Nope, too dark. It's very important to get the right colour, isn't it? Ink blue. What about ink blue? Mm. They're all too strong, those colours. I'm not going to use any of those. Um, let's do it in green. Maybe. Like that, perhaps. Then you could drop in some just plain water so that they blend a little bit. And then what I did last time, my wonderful experience of doing this, I just put in some more stems, allowing it to kind of just drag the paint a bit like that. And then I think probably need a little bit more. Every one of these that you do is going to be completely different from the previous one. Like I say, Carolyn did hers quite heavily spotted. And uh, so there we are, that's that one done. I'll put that aside to dry. And it's possible that when it has dried, you might want to... Um, uh, oh yes, this is one thing that I did notice actually, because this paper is incredibly not absorbent, I don't know what it is, uh, I did feel that sometimes the, the paint was just sitting too long on the surface. So I just use a bit of paper towel to suck that up a bit. Okay, so there we are, that's card number one, we'll pop that over there to dry. And uh, I'll go at another one. And this time I might do it with a lot more colour. I'm going to try and do one like Alan did. So I have 
have a go at doing one just like hers. And she's got to uh, see what happens if you let your pen sit. Okay, so let's do a nice wonky vase and the tabletop. You could put um, you could put patterns on here. You could do a tablecloth with stars on it if you wanted to, or anything like that. And then we're just going to do exactly the same thing again. You could choose to have your stems kind of asymmetrical, a bit like that, perhaps, if you wanted to. Just making this up as I go along. And uh, then we're going to start, we'll start with blue again. And I'm, well, this time I'm going to do it slightly differently just because I'm experimenting. Actually, I'll just open that up. And I'm going to put a lot of little blue dots like that. And I'm going to put a brown. I'm going to find some brown. Sienna or something like that. I'll just put that for the base, tablecloth, whatever. And um, we do the water. And the more you can use a light touch for this, the better, really. And not be afraid of uh, anything going wrong, because how can it? I'm going to put perhaps a little bit of green in there. And uh, maybe some green. In the top here. some yellow quinacridone gold and where it hits the blue you got a nice green you have to be patient with this and not fiddle with it too much to let it dry so we put a little bit more brown down here make this a bit more dry too. Oh yes, the other thing that I did a minute ago was another idea, this uh, Kiritaki gold starry colours. Just put a few of those on. A little bit of gold. I did that on this one. And when that dries, that actually looks really quite nice. I like that. So I'm going to go away and leave that to dry. Start thinking about dinner and we'll see what it looks like when we come back. And at the moment we seem to be having some quite nice results. Super quick. Okay so I've let this dry for a little while and I'm going to come back in now because as I said I wanted to make this a little bit more like um, one of Carolyn's. So I'm going to add some more. She has hers kind of really beautifully multicolor. So there's red to go in 
like that. And then I think she's got quite a bit of yellow. She's actually using a, a sort of um, find some of that. Put some bigger splashes in as well. Be careful not to let them go muddy. is going to take a little while to dry because it's quite wet but I think that that's going to be quite nice so we really will leave that for the minute and oh yes and I did think that the tablecloth needed a bit more colour So I'll leave it like that. Okay, so switch you off. I'll be back soon. So there we are. There's the three cards that we've done this afternoon. It's taken us the grand total of half an hour to pop those together. And uh, I think I'm going to find them quite handy for sending to people when I just want to drop them a quick note. So we've got a lilac-y one, a bluey one, and a multicolour one. And I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a try. I don't think there's anything to lose. And it's a wonderful warm up as well if you uh, feel a bit stuck as to what you're going to paint today. And uh, as some of the people on the uh, the Facebook group say very frequently, especially Glory Mar says it a lot, keep painting, it's good for you. And uh, we all know why it's good for us to paint, don't we? So I'll let you go now and um, I'm going to go and cook the dinner. What am I going to cook? Any suggestions, anybody? If you enjoyed this, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on notifications so you hear when a new video goes up. We're experimenting with different times and days at the moment, so you might not know that a new video has gone up unless you've got notifications turned on. And um, don't forget channel memberships out there and we've got a new mug as well on the uh, website for sale with a dragonfly on. So if you're still here at the end of the video and you heard that, why don't you pop on over there and um, take a look at that. So I'll let you go now and I'll see you again soon. Bye now, everybody. Bye bye.